Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for, for Friday, March 26, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by like looking, looking at the US, Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we have found support at the 100 moving average. So we tested the 100 moving average yesterday and we tested it yet again today and then we basically rallied. So we did not break, we did pierce the 100 moving average, but we did not uh, ever basically trade underneath the 100 moving average. So even though that the uh, US dollar has been appreciating significantly today, we still see a rally in the US, uh, Great British Pound US dollar, which is fairly encouraging sign for, for this currency pair. So technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. They're still very bearish at this point. So if we manage to, we will probably rally towards the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average in the next few trading days. If we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we are going to test these previous highs again at 14.00 uh, and probably all the way up to, towards 14.24. Uh, but if we break below the 100 moving average, that could open the door to the 150 down here at 1350. Technical engage, for example, the bullish band, we are significantly outside of the bullish band. So a pullback towards the, the, fifth, the middle of the bullish band, give or take, at 1388. That is probably what we're going to see in the next uh, few trading days. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And yes, we have basically bounced from the 20 exponential. So we have been trading sideways for the last three weeks. And usually when we when this happens, you basically trade sideways and then you bounce to the upside. Uh, we could have basically broken down here, but we have bounced basically to the upside. So at this current stage, we're trading at 109, 179. We'll mostly target 110 10 in the next uh, few days so we're basically the top here of the Bollinger Band. Uh, Technical indicators they are all turning around for uh, this uh, currency pair so this is a very bullish sign that the 20 exponential has offered quite a lot of support and we basically have bounced off the 20 exponential. So let's look at the Euro, Euro US dollar this continues to uh, decline at the moment, we are heading towards the 300 moving average here at 1170. Taking indicators, they are very bearish at this point. We're going to get to the edge of being oversold, and we are significantly outside here of the bullish band. We rallied towards the middle of the bullish band, got rejected basically the second time here, and then we basically fell apart in trading at 1177 at this current stage. So, 300 moving average is down here at 11. Is 69.88. That's where we'll most likely find quite a lot of support. Um, if we break below that, then this could open the door to significantly lower levels. Rallies up towards the 20 exponential. That is uh, give or take 11.91. That is most likely com going to be sold into at this point. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, same thing here. We are just falling apart in the Aussie dollar, US dollar. So the 150 moving average is down here at uh, 0 0.75, uh, 27. And th that is probably where we're going to head to and find support in the next few trading days. Technical indicators, they are looking very bearish for this currency pair. And we are significantly overstretched here in the bullish band. So rally rallies towards the 100 moving average that will most likely be sold into. We are going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 100 moving average, which we haven't seen for a very long time. So that is an, another uh, bearish indication for this. So rallies towards the 100, most likely sold into, and will most likely find the nearest support around the 150 moving average. So the US dollar, Canadian dollar, this continues to rally. At the moment, we're heading towards the 50 moving average and the 50 has offered significant uh, resistance in the past. So uh, we'll probably see this uh, turn around in the next few trading days. At this current stage, taking indicators are very bullish at this, current, at this point. We're trading above the middle of the bullish band. So we could also stretch it and head to all the way to the top of the bullish band. That will only mean that 
probably the fall will be that much uh, greater. Technical indicators, now with telling technical indicators, but the trend for this currency pair has been negative for the last, uh, well, basically the last year. So we're just witnessing one of these rallies up towards the 50 moving average, which we have seen several times in the past, which all of them have basically been sold into. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.